Is there something on the lens? Okay, we are doing another quick video today, this time about the battery that I use for my FPV goggles. I mentioned this in a vlog at one point because I was 3D printing the case for it. I said, oh, let me know if you want to know any more information. A lot of people ask more questions and I forgot to get around to it. So today we're getting around to it real quick. This case contains two 18650, they are, I think they're lithium ion batteries. They're not expensive. It's $21 for a four pack on Amazon. I'll leave a link. Uh, to solder up the wiring, I actually just followed the uh, Rotor Riot video, which I will also link, and it covers a lot about kind of the safety around soldering directly to batteries, because that's what you are going to be doing. Uh, the case I put them in is something that I designed myself. If you go to thingiverse.com, that's a, it's a community where people share 3D printing files, there are a ton of options. If you just search 18650 FPV or, or something like that, there's a lot of options, uh, some that are big and some that are small, but uh, this is one that I designed myself, and I designed this uh, to be small and to contain the 18650 batteries because I do think that the performance is better than the uh, stock Fat Shark LiPo. A lot of people complain about this, um, and it's, I mean, the, the battery indicator is nice, and it's got a good quality um, barrel connector and, and all that's great, but the battery life just doesn't seem to be that long, so a lot of people look for other options. Now, Fat Shark does have an 18650 battery case, which I will link if you want to check that out, and that's nice because it's super convenient. It just pops open and you drop the batteries in. What I don't like about it is that it's really, really large. It's, it's very bulky, so I designed this with compactness in mind and when I looked at the other uh, options on Thingiverse to download and I was using other options a lot of them were either big or didn't really uh, lock into the goggle strap that well so the two things I wanted were a compact design and I put these grooves in that the battery strap sits in so it doesn't fall out I mean they're along the bottom too so this never comes out of my strap. The bottom portion of this case is printed in TPU, which is a soft and flexible material, so that makes it a little softer on the side of the head. Uh, and then the top I did have to do in PLA because when I did it in the flexible material, the battery wires would just peel up the top. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do with this was make it so that it assembled with screws so that it was easily disassemblable, um, which is why I'm doing this video today because I need to disassemble it because one of the um, one of the the wires for the balance lead seems to have come disconnected from the battery. Plug in this balance battery checker doesn't light up but I know the battery is good so I'm just undoing these things. And that was the other thing a lot of the designs um, that were online uh, they had like snap features which are nice because you don't have to use any hardware but I wanted something that was easily um, serviceable. So even though the screws add a little bit of weight, it doesn't seem a big deal. So we've got it open and Alright, see sometimes these things are annoying. I just had to check everything with a multimeter because everything visually looks okay but apparently this yellow wire has an internal break. Anyways, yeah the batteries are out of the case now so this is what's inside. Like I said the bottom is flexible um, and it just sits, this just sits inside and there's a, like a recess along the bottom floor to leave room for the wires that are on the bottom of the battery. Okay, so I gotta replace this yellow wire. Alright, we've got a new uh, balance wire plugged in. I just used a leftover balance lead from a damaged battery. So if you damage your main flight packs or whatever from crashing, you should definitely dispose of them safely, but I recommend cutting off the balance leads because these always come in handy when you need to repair uh, your batteries. So I just took out two of the wires, I pulled them out of the plastic connector, inserted them into this existing two cell connector, and then got it soldered up to the battery. So now to double check it, it's always way too loud. Looks good. So we're just going to pop this uh, top back on and we're going to call this thing fixed. These, uh, these 18650 batteries um, perform really well for this. They have uh, a lot of capacity. 
Um, they don't need to, like lithium polymer, that's really good at outputting high current. You don't necessarily need that high current for a goggle battery. So um, something like a lithium ion chemistry is much better suited for this purpose where um, you're going to get longer life out of it and you want to run it lower charge and things like that. So anyways, I definitely recommend doing it. But be careful because soldering directly to batteries can be uh, dangerous. Thanks for checking out my video and be sure. Oops, I finished the water. Thanks for checking out my video. Also, um, I will upload my um, STL files for for this battery case. So if you have a 3D printer and want to make one just like this, you can. Okay, now we're done.